Hey, Trip. My name's Wolfie. I'm 23. I live in Texas. And I was just wondering, my question is, is um, how do you figure out what you want out of and who you should become, who you want to become, so you know what woman you want by your side? What a deep question. How do you figure out who you want to become so you know what kind of woman to have by your side? What a great question. And and like I said, very deep. Okay, so so how do you find out who you want to become? Well, uh, this kind of goes along with, the, with a very similar question, which is one that I have definitely dabbled with personally for, for many years. Like what you want to, your life to look like and what kind of person do you want to be goes along usually with what, how do you want to spend your time? And your time is going to be spent in your career, making money, spending time with people, your hobbies. What do you do in your free time? So I would say, first of all, to answer those questions, kind of a two-part answer. One, I would say you don't necessarily need to figure out exactly to the T who you are to know what kind of woman to have by your side. And I say that because you are going to change. And I'm comfortable saying that as a 36-year-old because I mean, I'm not that much different, but there are, are different desires and wants that I've had since I was 18 years old and it's changed over the course of the past, what is, what is that, 18 years. So you know, you're never going to fully find out who you are because you're an evolving being. But of course, I do enjoy this question because you got to have some sense of who you are as a person and what you want out of life. And I do believe that having those answers will help figure out what kind of woman you want because you're going to figure out what kind of lifestyle you want. You're going to figure out what it is that you're passionate about and and all those things. So I do think that that is important. This is actually a three-part answer. I'll get into the part three in a second. But to answer the question of how do you figure out who you want to be. And it's funny, I feel like I'm the only one, even though it's such a common sense answer, but I've never seen it anywhere. No one's ever at no one's I, I did a lot of research on this for myself. When I was diving into this, uh, you know, a decade ago, but but even even into making this podcast, there were still many years where I was saying, well, what do I want my life to look like? I knew I always wanted to be a dating coach and continue dating and building trip advice. But what was it that I wanted my lifestyle to look like? And I just sat there and I thought about it. And I thought about it and I would ask mentors and people and I would do research on this. I just couldn't find the answer anywhere. There was nothing out there that spoke to this until I, it finally clicked one day. And now I get to share it here with you. You have to, again, it's going to be such a common sense answer. Where you're going to say, duh, but again, not many people think about this and no one's ever said it. So the answer is that you need to try different things and especially you have the freedom to do that as someone who is 23 years old. You need to try new things. You need to experiment. You need to, you know, you can also talk to people and figure out, well, what are other people doing? What are their lifestyles like? But more importantly, you need to do. If you don't know where you want to live, just move and and move somewhere else and live. If you don't know what kind of career you want, jump into something and see if you like it. You can never think your way to who you want to be. You have to do your way to who you want to be. So you need to take action there. Okay. Now, part three is this. If you want to make this really simple, you can just look for three qualities in a woman and... You can still, of course, build you and who you want to be and take the advice I just took. But if you want to just make it really simple in the terms of what kind of woman you want, I find that most men who don't really understand this or know it, but I've broken it down and I've also listened to other gurus who have talked about this and they've broken it down and I've helped break it down to three very easy qualities to look for and qualities that I know that most men appreciate but don't think to necessarily look for it or are not putting a word to it. Those three qualities. Don't you love how I build everything up so much? Just keep you on the edge of your seat. Anyway, the three qualities are fit, feminine, and friendly. I have found that most men really appreciate a woman who is fit, who is very feminine, and who is very friendly. So that is someone who is fit, who's 
in good shape, who prioritizes their health, feminine. I think that is someone who, or I should say a woman who acts in a feminine way. She is very easygoing. She is uh, someone who, who wears feminine clothing, who appreciates being in her feminine. And then there is friendly, a woman who is, is friendly, who's nice, who's sweet. So fit, feminine, friendly. So Wolfie, you can also take that and run with it. Is while you're looking for the person who you are, but at the same time want to still date and find a great partner, you can use those, th those three. Fit, feminine, and friendly. <laughs>